Hello there, it's Jade here. Today, we'll be talking about poster booking again, but unlike the basic features that we covered last time, today we'll be covering the more advanced features, like the channels feature, which allows you to display more than one picture on the same screen. So instead of buying a very big screen and having to buy another one, you could have one really big screen and split it in half in different layouts. But we'll check that later. Okay, another feature is the URL feature, which allows you to enter any URL and display whatever is on that website in real time. All of those features are using poster booking and they're coming up. Let's get into it. Our first thing that we're going to cover today is the channels feature. So the first thing that we need to do, as we did before, is connect our screen. I know we covered this before, but in case someone needs to catch up, we're going to go to add screen, hit add screen again. And when you open the app on your screen for the first time, there will be a code. We'll take this code, enter it here, enter your code here, give my screen a name and hit add screen. I already connected mine, Jade one. And to download the app, your screen must be a smart screen. So we can download the application from Google play, or if it's not a smart screen, you could buy a very cheap Amazon fire stick, which would allow you to download the application. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Next, the first thing that we need to do is upload the pictures that we want to display. Like we said, the channel feature allows you to display more than one thing on the same screen. So as you can see, I uploaded two different pictures. You're basically going to hit upload and select the pictures and hit upload. It's that simple. Next, we are going to go to playlists. Okay. I know we said we're going to use the channels feature, but bear with me. We're going to hit create playlist. I'll call it playlist one. For the channels feature to work, we need to make two different playlists for each kind of content. So if you have two pictures, we need two separate playlists for each picture. So I made playlist one. I'm going to create a second one, playlist two, hit add playlist. Then we're going to add content to each playlist. So playlist two, I'll choose this green one. And for playlist one, I'm going to choose the other picture. Okay. Hit add to playlist. And now we're done with our playlist. Next, we're going to go to our channels feature, hit create channel. I'll call it two and one create channel. Cause we could display two things in one screen, create channel. And here's the fun part. We're going to hit select layout. And here we can choose the layout in which we want our content to be displayed. So you can choose vertically, horizontally, main and footer. You have all the options here. I'm going to choose split horizontally because I have two horizontal pictures, hit select. And once we do that, we'll find that we have a top bar and a bottom bar. This is what is going to be on your screen. You'll have a picture at the top and a picture at the bottom. So for each bar, we're going to select a playlist. So we're going to hit add slash hit a playlist for the top bar. I'm going to choose playlist one, hit save. And for the bottom bar, I'm going to choose playlist two, hit save. And we're done with our channel. Our channel is now created. Our next step, we're going to go to screens. And as you can see, my screen has nothing and it's inactive because I haven't added anything. So we're going to hit this plus button underneath our screen. And instead of hitting a slash edit playlist, we're going to hit a slash edit channels because the channel contains the two playlists that we made. So we're going to hit a slash edit channels, select the channel that we made, hit save. And on our screen, it's going to show up. So that was the channels feature. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the URL feature. So to use it, we'll need to go to content. Instead of image and videos, we're going to go to websites. And here we're going to hit create a URL module. And here we're supposed to enter the link of the thing that we want to display. So for today's demonstration, I'll be using a presentation from Google slides. I'm going to hit share. And as you can see, it's restricted. I'm going to change it to anyone with link, hit copy link, and I'm going to paste the link here. Give the link a name. I'll call it present and hit save. We have the URL done. Okay. The next step, we're going to go to playlists and here there are the playlists that we've made from before. So I'm going to use playlist one. I'm going to hit add content. 
URLs. So here, we're going to go to URLs, select the link that we added before. I named it present. We're going to hit add to playlist. And now playlist one has the link that we want to display. So next, we're going to go to screens, hit the plus button underneath our screen, add slash edit playlists, select the playlist that we added the link to was playlist one. I'm going to hit save. And on our screen, it's going to show up. It takes a little bit of time, but here it is, a presentation from the web. So that was the URL feature and the channels feature. I hope you found this helpful. I'll leave the link for poster booking in the description for you to check it out. It's completely free. And I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.